Hello and welcome to an ANOVA system snippet video. My name is Sam Bromley and I'm going to show you how to create planes in SOLIDWORKS. So we've got a part here with lots of different types of geometry and I'm going to use this geometry to create new planes. We do that by going to reference geometry and plane. Planes require references to be fully defined. Those references can be faces, edges or vertices. I'm going to run through the type of different planes that we can create in SOLIDWORKS. First off, the most simple one is an offset plane. What we do is select a singular face, so we only need one reference, and we can then specify an offset distance. Secondly, I'm going to create an angle plane. I select a planar face and an edge. I can then specify a degree in regards to the first plane that I specified. like so. We can create a coincident plane between three points. This is an example of something that requires three references. We can also create a coincident plane with a vertice and an edge. We can create a parallel plane so this face here is at an angle. I can specify parallel to this face, up to this vertex, and it will be parallel with the initial reference. We can have a tangent plane, like so. It's tangential with the circular face that we've got. It's currently perpendicular with the second reference. I could make that parallel if I wanted. It's still tangent with the, with the first reference. A really useful plane to create would be a, a mid plane. For instance, this face here and the back face will automatically put a plane dead center between those two references that I've selected. And lastly, I'm going to show you a plane which will be perpendicular to the end point of a sketch. So I've got a sketch here. I'm going to create reference geometry. My first reference is going to be the line itself. And secondly, I'm going to select the end point. And that will create a plane perpendicular to the line that I've selected. And that's really useful if you don't have a plane for a sweep. So we're going to create a profile. This is our path. We can create a plane there. We could then draw profile on that plane. So planes can be quite complex to fully define sometimes. Hopefully I've shown you a few ways there to create planes and fully define them properly. I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching.